Hi everyone, my name is Upendra Karthik Perry. I am a Six Sigma black belt from Motorola University. Today I will be happy to discuss some basic concepts of Lean and Six Sigma. The overview of this total course contain what is Six Sigma, why to use Six Sigma, where to use Six Sigma, when to use Six Sigma, who are the Six Sigma change agents, how to deploy Six Sigma, history of Six Sigma, and the basic terms of Six Sigma. What is Six Sigma? Six Sigma is a management philosophy developed by Motorola that emphasizes on setting extremely high objectives, collecting data, and analyzing the results to a fine degree as a way to reduce defects in products and services. In customer definition can be a defect free products or services. The management definition can be the problem solving technique or methodology. The business definition can be a process improvement methodology. A financial definition can be cost reduction. Why to use Six Sigma? The benefits. Individual benefits include develops leadership thinking, improved decision making skills, ability to use statistical tools and techniques, a status that is recognized worldwide. The organizational benefits are the bottom line cost saving, improved quality and products and services, reduced process cycle time, development of staff, common language throughout the organization, the world class standard. Where to use Six Sigma? The types of industries. It can be used in manufacturing, telecom, banking and insurance, healthcare, education, hospitality, airlines, communication, software, space research and military. Any industry where internal and external customers are involved. And any function can be customer service, production, administration, sales and marketing, finance, research and development, operations, training and development, human resource management, IT and quality any function where internal or external customers are involved. Precisely, Six Sigma can be used to any type of industries and to any type of functions. When to use Six Sigma? If the problem impact is high and the causes are known, then lean is preferred. If the problem impact is high and the causes are unknown, then Six Sigma is preferred. If the impact of the problem is low and the causes are very much known, then you can do it yourself. As you know, the impact is low and the causes are known. If the impact is low and the causes are unknown, you can consult an expert or a consultant. Who are Six Sigma change agents? All Six Sigma trained and knowledgeable associates in any company are the Six Sigma change agents. These can be Six Sigma white belts, Six Sigma yellow belts, Six Sigma green belts, Six Sigma black belts, Six Sigma master black belts, Six Sigma champions, Six Sigma executive champions. How to deploy Six Sigma? Six Sigma can be successfully deployed only by both strategy and execution go hand in hand. Steps to deploy Six Sigma. Identify the opportunity. Get the leader's acceptance. Create an implementation strategy. Where we are today? Where do we stake our improvement? 
where do you want to take our improvement how do we best plan to go there execute without much deviation review the results regularly the history of six sigma it comes with more than a hundred years of history how the six sigma took an evolution it started in 1736 where a French mathematician took the normal curve and it was then improved by Gauss and then an Italian socialist Alfred Pareto invented 80-20 rule and Shivert introduced continual improvement charts and Alex Osborn established the brainstorming and US military established failure mode effect analysis and Kan Ishikawa invented the cause and effect diagram Kano invented the Kano principle or Kano model the Bill Smith introduced Motorola to Six Sigma and then Allied Signals adapted it and then it was publicly or widespread through GE world's best companies use Six Sigma technology wise Samsung, Motorola, LG, Xerox, Dell, GE, Vodafone and CSE, DHL in airlines Air Canada, Boeing in military, US military, user Six Sigma food and beverages, PepsiCo, Bank of America HSBC, US Six Sigma basic terms of Six Sigma what is a white belt? They have the basic knowledge of Six Sigma and quality improvements. Typically trained for one day and supports yellow belt projects. What is an yellow belt? They have the basic knowledge of seven quality tools that can and can take up a small projects in their departments. Typically trained for two days and supports green belts. Who are green belts? They have a knowledge of DMAC, D -M -A -I -C, cycle and can use leadership tools and statistical tools and can manage mid sized projects and they are typically trained for three to six days and they support black belts. Black belts. They have a complete knowledge of statistical tools, interact with senior leaders and manage large projects. They try and green wells and yellow bells and typically train for 15 to 25 days and supposed support master black bells. Master black bells. They manage the overall deployment of six sigma initiatives across the organization and trains black bells interacts with executive leaders in the company like CEO, CVO and CFO, etc project chairman translates the company's vision mission goals and matrices to create an organizational deployment plan and identify individual projects identify resources and remove roadblocks he works closely with must black belts typically trained for two days on basic six sigma concepts executive chairman or sponsor provides the overall alignment by establishing the strategic focus of Six Sigma with the context of organization's culture and vision works with champions and typically trained for one day what is the process it is a set of activities performed to deliver a defined output what is the project an activity that has a start date and end date with a goal provided with limited resources like money, manpower, time, etc. What is a defect? Any condition that does not meet the customer requirement in the product or service offered can be called as a defect. What is defective in Six Sigma? Any product or service having more than one defect opportunity any chance for non-conformance or not meeting the required specifications including customer requirements what is DPMO or defects per million opportunities the defects in the product or service for one million opportunities what is mean it is also called as 
average calculated by adding all the numbers in the set of data and dividing by the number of elements. What is median? The middle value of the data set in the values when are arranged in either ascending or descending order. What is mode? The mode is the most frequent value in the series of observations of data. External customer. An external an individual or an entity who is interested to pay for the product or service offered. Internal customer. A department or an individual within the company that relies on others to satisfy the external customers. Voice of the customer. The term used to describe the stated and unstated needs of requirements of the customers. CTQ, critical to quality. Internal quality parameters that relate to the wants and needs of external customers. CTP, critical to process. Internal quality parameters that relate the wants and needs of the external customers. Variance, a statistical measure that tells how measure data from the average value. Standard deviation, a numerical value that is used to indicate how widely the individual groups vary or square root of the variance. It is called as sigma and represented by a Greek letter sigma. Sigma, six sigma is a problem solving methodology that helps to enhance the business and organizational operations. It can be defined in a number of ways. It can be defined as a quality level of 3.4 defects per million opportunities. A rate of total yield of 99.9996% in the process. A data driven problem solving methodology of define, measure, analyze, improve and control. An initiative taken by an organization to create a bottom line breakthrough change. How, why I should consider Six Sigma than to the conventional model? Most of the people consider 99% is the best. But unfortunately, by growing demand and needs of the customers, it is no more acceptable. To achieve the highest level of perfection in both service and manufacturing, it is very much required to please our customers at the highest level. If we consider there are 100 products sold, according to the normal 99 percentage there would be uh, one defect so the efficiency can be 99 percent according to six sigma methodology the defects accepted for 100 are 0 0.00034 where the efficiency goes for 99.9996 percent even for thousand there could be 10 defects whereas the defects as per Six Sigma methodology can be only 0 0.0034 for 10,000 products produced or services offered it would be for a 99% efficiency or one defect per hundred it will result in 100 defects whereas in Six Sigma methodology it would be only 0 0.034 for a 1 million opportunities it is for a 99% efficiency there will be 10,000 defective products or services whereas for Six Sigma it would be only 3.4 Six Sigma scale Six Sigma calculations Six Sigma is a measure of defects measuring defects and products and services it can be compared to a measuring scale a measuring scale contains centimeters, inches and a six sigma scale contains a six sigma value and DBMO as shown in the below figures. Six sigma DBMO defects and yield. The following chart shows what is the sigma value which can be represented as Z value sometimes and the defects per million opportunities as we discussed the DBMO value 
and the percentage of defects and the percentage of success or yield. For one sigma, there can be as high as six lakh ninety-one thousand four hundred and sixty-two defects per million opportunities. That means the defects percentage would be sixty-nine percent, and the percentage of success would be thirty-one percent. For a six sigma, it can be as low as three point four defects per million opportunities, and the percentage of defects could be 0.00034%, whereas the percentage of yield would be 99.99966%. The basic Six Sigma equation can be formulated as y equals to f of x, or y is a function of x, where x one x two x three at two x n are the inputs, where y is the output, or it can be represented as output is a function of inputs. What is y and what are x's? The output can be y, whereas input or x's. Are dependent is y and independent are x. An effect is y where the causes are x. The symptom is y where problem is are x. The monitor is y where the control are x. The TMAIC cycle. TMAIC cycle or sometimes referred as Tmax cycle. It, uh, there are five phases in any. Six Sigma project, which will help us to define the project and define the opportunity, and to measure the opportunity, how bad or how good is the situation, and then to analyze the situation and to improve the situation using particular improvement tools and control the situation to keep the results sustained. cost of quality there are two ways of measuring cost of quality the cost of poor quality and the cost of good quality the cost of poor quality include internal failure cost external failure cost the cost of good quality include appraisal costs and prevention costs internal failure costs may include free work delays external failure cost may include complaints repairs appraisal costs include quality planning quality process prevention costs include training and development this is the end of module 1 thanks for your patient listening